Mykonos Web Security is the smartest way to protect websites and web apps from attacks. Mykonos uses deception-based security to detect, track, profile, and respond to hackers who are trying to exploit your website. We deceive them by inserting tar traps into the code at serve time. If a hacker plays with these tar traps, we know we have someone doing something they shouldn't be doing, and we detect them as a hacker. We function as a reverse proxy sitting in front of the web app server, and we add our tar traps at serve time, and we remove them on the way back. You do not have to change any code on your website or web application. This is the website that Mykonos Web Security is protecting, Generic Electronics. As we click around, we can see that it's an e-commerce site uh, with uh, a database behind it serving up products and product prices. As a hacker, maybe I would start playing with the URL string. Easy to start with, and so as I can see, we've got input A equals all here. Might be interesting to a hacker. If it can equal all, maybe I can make it equal something else, like none. Didn't do anything so far. As I click around, a warning has come up. My manipulation of the URL string has been detected because Mykonos Web Security has injected fake code into that URL string. And if a hacker starts playing with it, you are detected as a hacker. The hacker has to resolve the warning in order to continue to surf the website. Now, this testing of parameters is a manual process. And obviously, a hacker is going to try to automate this process to speed it up. So if I start to run a script against this site, and I launch a program called Firebug, and I start to launch this SQL injection code uh, against this site, I'm going to test multiple parameters against this site. As you can see, they're, they're scrolling through here. And as this script is running, A lot of the parameters got through um, and were successful, but now we've got an unexpected response from the, from the site. As a, the script is broken, so as a hacker, I have to now manually go back to the site and start to explore what happened. And as I click on the site, I see that a capture has been thrown up to break the automated attack. I now, as a human, have to resolve this, so I'm making hacking far more expensive because they have to resolve this and resort to human manual hacking away from the automated. So as I resolve that, as a human, I get back to the site, and I can continue to surf. So now, as a hacker, I may try other things. And form fields are very interesting to me as a hacker. And as we see here, I've got a form field that I can play with. And if I can make it do things that it shouldn't do, um, that might find vulnerabilities in the site. So as I start to look around this um, form, I see a bunch of code, and I'm looking at it, and uh-oh, I see something here that might be interesting. This, this hidden input value has been left here by, um, looks like, by a programmer, and I'm not sure what it does. Maybe I could make it do something it shouldn't do. But what it is is actually a piece of fake code inserted by the Mykonos Web Security. So if anyone playing with this code would be detected as a malicious user, because a normal user would never see this code. So if I change that to 2, and then I go into here and make this 2, and then update quantities, maybe I can make it do something it shouldn't do. It doesn't seem like it's done anything that it shouldn't do right now. But as I click around the site, what you see now is that every request has been slowed down. The connection has been throttled just to this hacker. So every page is taking multiple seconds to respond. And now they are effectively attacking in slow motion. So what you're doing is wasting the attacker's time. And what they think is that the site is actually getting flaky and starting to break. But really, this response is just being done to the hacker. And it's making their hack far more painful. And the important part to know is that this slowdown only happens to the hacker that's been detected. A normal user would never see it, and the site would behave normally for them. So now let's hack again. What we're going to do is we're going to request a server file. So slightly different. We're going to request an HD access file, which is an Apache configuration file that shouldn't be exposed, but often is. And so if somebody requests it, what the Mykonos Web Security device does is it actually serves up 
a fake one that looks exactly like a normal real one. As you can see, this is an HD access file covering a recover password file. And obviously, a hacker would be excited to see access to something like that. So if they can get to the HD access file, maybe they can get to the HD password file. And so as I pull that file up, I want to see if I can get to it. And yes, sure, I can get to it. The Mykonos Web Security has served up a fake file with fake usernames and encrypted passwords. So the hacker thinks they're making success in their hack, and they think they're being successful and could find a vulnerability. But really, all they're doing here is talking to the Mykonos Web Security device. And we are delaying them, wasting their time, and profiling the skill that they have. So if I go to recover password and try and request that file, as you can see, my connection has slowed down again. But it's asking me if I can uh, resolve one of the passwords. So if I spend the six to eight hours to resolve one of those passwords that the Mykonos Web Security device served up, and one that we have there is Jay Bieber. And uh, his password, in case anyone want, wanted to know, is money. And so if it resolves it, the hacker thinks that they've really made some progress here. As you can see, the connection has been slowed down. They're hacking in slow motion. But now they've seen an internal server error. It looks like they've gone as far as they could. It looks like the site that they, the, the, the file that they requested is no longer there. But what they've done is they've just been interacting with a Mykonos web security device, wasting their time, and hacking in a virtual world. If we go back to the Mykonos security monitor, we see that I have now been identified as Nadia 7451. If I click on Nadia 7451, you see the attack has been recorded. Like a DVR, you have everything that I have done against the site, from the URL manipulation to the hidden parameter manipulation through to the Apache configuration file requested, um, and ob obviously up to the final one, most dangerous, the password was cracked. Through this process, Nadia has been identified as having a threat level of high. These are all the responses that were thrown up against Nadia as she was attacking and ultimately a block getting them off the site. So that site has disappeared, and she can no longer attack that site anymore. And what we have is the ability to actively defend against the attack in real time as it is underway. So as you can see, the Mykonos Web Security Intrusion Deception System has detected a hacker trying to exploit a website and prevented them in real time. The benefits are that Mykonos' intrusion deception technology is the only offering in the industry capable of detecting an attacker while the attack is in progress and proactively preventing expensive attacks. Mykonos is the only company to do device level tracking instead of just IP address tracking. We go way beyond the IP address into identifying the actual machine doing the attacking. And compliance, Mykonos technology meets the compliance mandates for web application security. Go to mykonossoftware.com and download a free evaluation of the product.